Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. Tonight's episode, are ammo prices are about to fall, and are we on the cusp of welcoming even more people into a normal use of their Second Amendment? I can't wait to share this with you guys. Everything will be linked in the description box below, per usual, and we are always looking to earn that subscription. So, if you think we earn it and you want to jump in the fold, we could use as many people as possible to drive our, arts for our Second Amendment rights forward together. Thank you so much for your consideration, and let's get today's sponsor to make this video possible. Now, I know a lot of you out there like to repair and upgrade your own guns. If you're looking for a way to take your hobby to the next level, Sonoran Desert Institute can help. The online programs at SDI cover armor courses, gunsmithing, ballistics, woodworking and finishes, shooting sports management, and more. Plus, tools and materials ship directly to your door. There's never been a better time to inquire about your future in the Second Amendment, so click that link in the description box below to find out more, and thank you to SDI for making these videos possible. All right, so, brothers and sisters, I have got some amazing news on both fronts. Send this one out because I think this is something that will refresh and replenish your Second Amendment-loving souls. Check this out. Gun background checks dip to pre-pandemic levels. The drop also may indicate a decline in firearm sales. Brayden, what are you saying? That could be a bad thing. Wait until I show you two things, because this can be indicative of one thing particularly. Ammo prices may be about to come down, because we just had a massive surge of gun buying over the last two years. That leaves us at a new watermark. That's the second thing I'm going to show. I'm going to show you guys. Check these graphs out. This is incredible for our movement. Firearm background checks nationwide have returned to pre-COVID-19 levels, according to data from the Federal Bureau of Investigation, suggesting a potential dip in firearm sales as well. Now, here's the thing. If you'd come to me and say, hey, our sales are slowing down or declining, I'm going to look at the data and I'm going to tell you if it's truly declining or if it's finding a new watermark, a new mainline operating level. That's where we're at. The graphs I'm about to show you are drastic increases in gun ownership, drastic amendment, Second Amendment loving patriot Americans taking advantage of the freedoms that we have. Check this out because this setup is, is interesting. In May, the FBI reported 2.3 million background checks initiated through the NICS background check system, a total that fell below 2.5 million for the first time since October 2019. 2.5 million background checks over a two-year span. That is insane. The total ticked up to about 2.6 million in June, but was still far below the totals for the same month in 2020, 3.9 million in 2021, 3.1 million. So you guys remember that massive gun buying spree, that little freedom spree that we had for about two years? This is where it's coming home to roost, and this is why we do all the work we do on this channel. This is why you guys endorse the Second Amendment every day in your conversations, because we brought so many people into the fold that supplies are about to start catching up to that new, well, like I said, waterline, that baseline mark. This is going to be impressively amazing. Monthly background check figures rose dramatically in the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic, topping 3.5 million for the first time in March 2020, 3.7 million, and reaching a record 4.7 million one year later in March 2021. 2020, 39.7 million, and 2021, 38.9 million, yielded the two highest year-end totals on record, with each marking an increase of nearly 40% over the previous highs in 2019. That 40% number is crucial because the percentage of first-time gun buyers in this spree was 40%. That is now being corroborated by the data that you're seeing right here. 40% more Americans purchase firearms. All right, now I'm going to show you the graphs. This is the payoff. Check this bad boy out. Firearm background checks by month. So this is what they're saying on the dip, right? So this is the two-year span. We had a baseline of 2 million, jumped up into 2021 to around 4.5 to 5, and now we're back to 2. And that's the whole premise of this article. But look at what the long-term trend is. This is where I get excited. Despite the pronounced decrease over the last year, background checks remain high from a broader historical perspective. This is going back from 2000 all the way into 2021. Look at that jump. You had gun owners increasing in fold. We are bringing in more demographics, bringing in more sex demographics, bringing in all sorts of things. Females are buying guns that they've never been, that have not been traditionally buying guns before. Minorities are buying guns that have not traditionally, and 40% were first-time gun buyers. These numbers, that's the new waterline mark. So now, so you went from two million people on average that were collectively doing background checks to Basically, an increased maintained level of 2 million. So you spiked at 4.5, and, and now you're at that 2 million, 2.5 mark. 
look at that in contrast to where we were in 2000, which was 10 million annually. Now it's 40 million annually. We have a 4x growth curve and the Second Amendment is growing the whole way with more fresh new blood coming in. But now let's get to the point that's the most important and that's the ammo piece. As the gun increases start to uh, basically become normalized in that 2.5, 2 million range, all the production is going to catch up to it and we're going to start seeing ammo again. Ammo starts becoming more available because the economies of scale are now making uh, ammo at the same price to match demand. The ammo supplies are going to catch up and price is going to fall with it. And you guys have a whole lot more brothers and sisters in the Second Amendment fold. And I am welcoming every single one of you. And thank you so much for helping us grow. And I will see you tomorrow morning on The Bullet Points. I'm Braden. See you later.